Hi guys, I'm Martikor, and if you've been watching me for a while, especially on my Polish channel, which is why I'm making this video here, um, you probably know what the pudding face is in The Sims 3. But in case you don't, just a quick explanation. So in The Sims 3, there is this thing that whenever the game generates a new sim, be it a pizza delivery sim or just a family that lives in a house somewhere, those sims always end up having the same exact face, called the pudding face. It didn't used to be this way, uh, it probably came in some kind of patch, it just got broken or something, like many things in The Sims in general, you know? So now when the game generates a sim, uh, it has like all the sliders set to zero, and because of that it's always the same face. Doesn't matter what colors they have, they can be blonde, they can have dark skin, whatever, different body types and stuff like that, but the face is always exactly the same. You might have not noticed that if you don't really pay attention to with that much. Uh, a lot of people don't, I guess, but it's been super annoying to me. So there are a few mods that can fix this, but two of them come with other things that I don't really appreciate that much. There's awesome mod that you can set in the configuration to only not give you the pudding face, to only fix that problem, but for some reason... Even setting that, you get some additional things that you can see in your game. You can see your game changing in other ways too, having that mod. And also technically it's only compatible with 1.67 update. Um, when you use it on 1.69, the origin version, then you get a pop-up that it's not compatible, but... No, nothing really happens in the game, but just the pop-up might be annoying and kind of worrisome, you know? So I stopped using Awesome Mod and changed it to the core mod from Similar90, but that also comes with other things, and I only wanted to fix the pudding faces. I know the core mod fixes a lot of other problems in, in the game, so I still also recommend that, but there is also random sim fix based on the core mod from, of course, Lazy Duchess, the ingenious modder for The Sims 2 and 3, mostly, I guess, uh, who does brilliant work. I, I can't even comprehend. So random sim fix basically just fixes randomizing sims. And today I'm going to show you how that works, what the effect is, what kind of sims you get um, using this mod. Uh, so we are going to start a new game in Adventureland, because if you don't know, this is um, when you have the 1.69 update, um, you get Adventureland uh, as an additional town, kind of, but it is actually Sunset Valley just with two sims living in the town, in two separate houses. So it's almost not populated, so it's very easy to show uh, how this mod functions in this town, because the game will generate plenty of sims, because there are only two living in here. So it is said that Adventureland was a mistake, that it wasn't supposed to be in-game, uh, that the developers just put it there uh, during the process of updating the game or something, uh, just by accident. But I think that it is actually, that, that it was actually on purpose. That it was kind of like an easter egg, because it is said to be a testing neighborhood for world adventures. You actually need to have world adventures installed to have this neighborhood. Yeah, so this was a testing neighborhood for world adventures. It makes sense because it's Sunset Valley, and, and this expansion pack was the first to ever be <laughs> um, released for The Sims 3, so uh, yeah, and they just put it there as an uh, as an easter egg, I think. That's my theory, that they, they were just like, hey, we'll give you that, just for fun, just a fun fact. <laughs> oh, there's the llama. Usually I'm very angry when it, when it appears, but uh, technically I have a mod that disables the zoom, but... Lately, I've been having the zoom again. Speaking about zoom, let's zoom at your face. Yeah, that that is definitely not a pudding face. <laughs> so, 
first example, but let's just wait for some people to spawn, maybe occupy some houses or just um, generate because she gets a job or something. Oh, actually, the other sim is her boss. Ah, oh, man. Uh, if I go to a community lot, maybe the game will generate some sims right away, uh, just so that anyone visits the lot as well. Oh, there is a burglar. That is definitely generated because there are no pre-maids in here except for the two sims that live here. She looks somewhat pudding, I guess. Uh, like the eyes or something. Like th There are some similarities, but it can still kind of happen, you know, because it's random. So some, so some traits can still like repeat from the pudding face, but all the sims are completely different. Okay, I see some sims walking. There's a paparazzi, of course, and another paparazzi. <laughs> this guy has a beard, which never happens in the original game. They will always have pudding faces and never any facial hair. So I love that sometimes, I don't know, I get like a male maid that has a huge beard. I don't know, there's, there's, some, there's just something very nice and versatile about it, you know, that... You just get so many different sims. Oh, you are so cute. <laughs> uh, what's with the uniform? I guess you're in disguise. Yeah, the game still uses like cast templates and just mixes them up. It's kind of like when you are in cast and you just click on the randomize button for the face, you know, or just for the sim in general. Uh, it's It works exactly like that. So never any repetitive faces. Sometimes it gives sims facial hair as well. Uh, and body hair, I'm pretty sure, uh, because that never happens in the original game either. Oh, there's a third paparazzi. Okay. Oh yeah, she is definitely not a pudding face either. Oh, also I have the enchanted environment mod, which is very nice. Um, and uh, I have other stuff, like the gray interface is also different. I got so used to it that I barely remember about it. It's not perfect. It is still bluish here and there, which I don't like very much, but that's fine. I don't like clean UI for The Sims 2. Well, any custom interfaces for The Sims 2, really. But in The Sims 3, somehow this really caught my eye and I want to use it. And I also have default replacements for skin and eyes, just so you know. I will put them in the description. I don't see any new families living anywhere. It's just paparazzi and a burglar just in case someone needs to get robbed. Oh, another random thing that I will throw in this video so that it's not a minute long. Um, if you press F10, you don't get any interface interfering with your view. So no, no notifications, nothing. It's also like that in The Sims 2, just so you know. It doesn't work in The Sims 4, unfortunately. But there, if you just press tab, you don't see anything, so it's not really that needed. And here, just with tab, you still see a lot of the inf interface. If there is a notification, it will pop up. You can see the sim icon, the interaction. Um, and with F10, you just have a clear view. You don't even need tab for it if you get your mouse cursor somewhere. <laughs> and you can also, you know, use your mouse to steer as well. Um, oh, I guess the money is still there with F10, sadly. <laughs> but yeah, you can, you have, like, you can do anything, like, normally uh, with the camera, but you just don't have any interface, just, just the mouse cursor. There are two sims living in this town and three paparazzi. What do they expect? Oh, uh, yeah, there was a burglar generate, but wait, th this is a different one. <laughs> This is Jonas Champion. <laughs> Very nice name. Okay, can I see your face through the mask? Yeah, that ain't pudding from what I see. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, I am also using reshade, but just a tiny bit. Uh, I just tweaked the colors a little bit so that they are a little bit more vibrant and a little bit more sharp, I guess. Uh, this game is freaking blurry. If you make it sharper with the, uh, with the reshade, it looks so much better. I will also make her meet her co-workers. Oh, you can't! Because there are no sims! Oh, 
Brenton Herman. That's a lot of letters. He's a teenager, okay. And he might be a little bit puddingy, I guess. But it's still not the face. It's more round, the eyebrows are different and everything. Uh, even the eye shape is different, I think. Um, I am an expert in recognizing pudding faces, so I know what I'm talking about. Even the taxi driver is not a pudding face. I love this mod. Jedediah Jorgensen. You chose a single bed over a double bed? That's interesting. It's been three days and all the houses are still empty. Which kind of makes me happy, really, when I think about it, because I don't want my game to generate too many of new sims. I just want the pre-made sims to create generations and just to have descendants of those sims in the future, you know? With the story progression mod, of course, and only turning it on from time to time, because otherwise your town will just get overpopulated. Um, but yeah, it just generated the most necessary sims that don't even live anywhere. That's fine. I just wanted to show their faces. I think that's enough. Um, let's try to go to the... I wanted to say festival, but there is no festival, even though it's already leisure day. Because also, uh, there are those, like, food stands and stuff like that, where the game needs to generate new sims just to work there. Sometimes it will take a random unemployed sim from the town, though. I once had Lisa Bunch working as the food stand sim. Maybe this town doesn't have the festival lot attached, like this park is not set as a festival lot because it's th this is only a testing neighborhood. Might be so. Hi there, Rodolfo Boyer. I don't really like the fact that the game usually uh, generates sims who are adults, not young adults. Yeah, still, definitely not pudding, and he does have facial hair. Yeah, that's basically how the mod works. It just fixes the randomizer so that it does actually randomize the sims. Highly recommend. Oh, here's also a nice originally looking sim. But she is also an adult. Yeah, if only this mod also came with uh, a bigger chance of the game generating young adults instead of adults, that would be perfect. Because sometimes I, I even age them down. <laughs> So that's it for this video. I hope it was somewhat helpful. I was trying to throw in a few other things as well. So of course the link to this mod will be in the description. You can use it and uh, yeah, just enjoy. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Subscribe and stuff like the video and see you in the next one. Bye.